they, they, like they said, they were, they were impressed. You sat out all season. Was this kind of your opportunity to show guys that you know, you're a pretty good player? Yes, it was. And I, yeah, I missed all season, unfortunately, and I didn't get a combine invite. So this was my combine. This was my chance to turn some heads, chance to show the scouts that that I deserve to be the combine. I, I should have had this this last year, and I mean, I did just that. Are you back where you were, Brandon, before the injury? Do you feel close to 100% now? Yes, uh, my shoulder actually got stronger. I did 20, 24, I would have got 25 reps mm -hmm. on the on 225. And previously, before um, training here, I did 21 reps. So the shoulder's fully healed, back to healthy and strong. No, it's, it's like riding a bike. I mean, I showed up to the uh, East-West Shrine game, performed well there. I mean, dusted off the little, a little rust, but I mean, it's playing football. I've been doing it for my whole life. You said you impressed the scouts. Did you impress yourself? I did. I did. I mean, I had, I had a very high expectations for myself. There was a couple numbers that were off that I could have hit better. I mean, hundreds of a second, but the big one was a 40. Around a 438 is what some guys got me at, and that's all that mattered. I mean, the 40 is the one where it really counts. What were your expectations at going into this draft since you didn't play last year? I mean, I've, from the draft boards, I've heard third and fourth before I got hurt. Then I didn't play. Draft boards had me down six to seven. But again, those are the draft boards. Those aren't really the scouts. So from what I've been told, I have with my times and everything, I have the potential to move myself up. I, mean, I would have a goal. I wish and hope I could go in third to fourth round. Anything higher would be, would be awesome. Anything lower, I just need my foot in the door and I'm going to impress everybody. What do you feel like scouts like the most about you? Definitely the the size and speed combination. I mean, it's kind of rare. There aren't too many players who are close to 220 that run in the four threes. I mean, I really showed that I have that speed and the versatility since I did play corner here. A lot of them are looking at me as corner and as safety. What were they telling you like during today? Or, like, what, what were they saying that they like seeing from you? you know? They they said I did a great job. I mean I blew them away on my 40. They knew they knew I was fast, but this was the first time they they had a real solid time on me. And so just again proving that I was fast and that I was healthy, that I was able to bench and that I was able to play in the East West Shrine game. And so I just showed them that I'm back really. How so much how much better does this make you feel about the entire thing and going through all that and missing the season? I mean it's got to be disappointing mm -hmm. to have this opportunity for you. It is disappointing. I mean I wish I could have got the year back, but. It, it's awesome that I was able to come out here and perform. I'm glad I was able to make everybody proud. Hopefully I was able to represent OSU and Beaver Nation, made my family proud, and we, we will see what happens come draft day. Did you finish school? Were you still here? Or where, where have you been just to catch up a little bit? Yeah, so I graduated, graduated last year. This uh, season I would have had only one class, so finished that one class. I trained at Athletes Performance in Arizona. I was down there for about three months. Mm -hmm. They got me ready down there. I was training as if I was going to the combine because mm -hmm. I didn't find out about the combine until late. Okay. So trained as if I was going for the combine. I was ready for that. And fortunately with our pro day, I was able to train even further. So it got me better, got me more ready, and I was even faster here. And that was Phoenix? So they had the Phoenix API, okay. Athletes Performance Arizona. How much extra motivation or chip on your shoulder did you get when you didn't get that combine invite? It was huge. I mean, because I, I know what type of player I am. I, between training here and our testing that we've done here at OSU, I knew what my times were. And I knew that if I did get a combine invite, I had the potential to be in the top five of every drill. And that would have been, that would have been nice for me to go there and show that small town kid OSU missed the senior year if I had the opportunity to go up there and blow up the combine. And like I said, the cards played out. I didn't get my opportunity, but my opportunity was here, and I made the best of it. James seemed to struggle a little bit at the combine, and he fixed, he corrected his times here. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a little more easy working out in front of some of your teammates and your ex-teammates? It is. It is. It's a lot easier because this is home. I mean, we do all our drills here. When Brian Miller, our strength coach, has his test in the the three cone drill, the forty, we do it all in this building. So we're used to this turf. This is our home. And being around the guys too helps. I mean, being around your own teammates, seeing them perform, cheering for them, having them cheer for you is all all just extra being being home, being at Pro Day. Besides working on combine drills and stuff like that, have you been doing any football stuff? Yeah, we did uh, some position work. Our coach at uh, API Arizona, he said that we are there to be track athletes, essentially. I mean, the 40, that's one of the biggest drills where you can make money or lose money. So we focused on sprinting and being a track athlete there. But we also did position work because we knew they would come out here, we'd have to do position-specific drills.